I am here. I'm waiting to get gowned and um, then it's insertion time. I'm a little nervous. I took an Advil though, so it should be okay. I'm not even gonna lie to you, that was really bad. <laughs> that hurt a lot. But it wasn't just the hurt, it was that I am pretty sure I had like an anxiety attack afterwards because I just had to lay there for like a good 10 minutes because I was like hot and cold. I feel better now and I'm just like a little sore, kind of crampy, but that hurt. It wasn't like the worst pain ever, like it would have been fine if I didn't then have a freaking anxiety attack about it, but oh my god, I'm like so cold. I had to leave the um, the place and Steph had to stay back and like pay for it because I didn't have my period technically, like I hadn't started bleeding yet, so they made me take a pregnancy test to make sure. So, oh my god. Definitely bring a pad. Because, bitch, you bleed. That was not fun. <laughs> I don't mean to, like, discourage anybody from doing this or, like, make you more nervous about it, but, like, oh, I would have definitely taken an Ativan. I would have taken two Advils instead of one. And I would definitely get somebody to come with you. That's, like, comforting to you because... It was nice when Steph like came in the room with me and just sat with me there for a second after it was all done because I was just like laying on the bed like, oh my god, kill me. I'm sure literally 20 minutes from now once I'm home and I have lunch and my hair isn't so goddamn sweaty, I will be fine, but that hurt. Also, process of it. They, um put in a speculum and open it up and then they just do like a check of your cervix they sterilized my cervix with this like cool gel which was fine and then they measure your cervix which hurts a little bit that's like a lot of pressure but that took like 10 seconds and then they put in the IUD which takes about 30 seconds so it's not a long process honestly I was in the room longer because I was anxious than I was being like inserted with my ID so I'm just watching for Steph but that hurt and right after I had like this really intense urge to cry and I just told the doctor like I feel really hot and she's like this is totally normal a lot of people feel like this after just stay here we'll keep checking on you they brought me some water and it's been about 15 minutes now and I feel, I feel better. Yeah, I think a lot of that was just anxiety because like right as she was doing it, I was like, don't cry. And then she like left the room and I was like, oh, I feel that feel where you just want to like lay down in bed in like a little ball. Well, when I came in and like looked at you, I'm like, no, you're, I can tell you're just yeah. anxiety. A lot of that was anxiety. Like it hurt. It definitely hurt. But if I had taken an Ativan or something and I didn't have any anxiety, it would have been like painful and annoying, but like fine. Like these are cramps. I can go home, have a heating pad and take an Advil. Like it's not a big deal. You seem more like calm now. Yeah. I definitely feel like still ow, a lot of ow, but better. The next day. Literally right after that last clip in the car, I was sitting there and I was like, this hurts, I hate it, I regret it, and like, I, I feel great. Like I feel 100%. I don't feel any pain, I'm not cramping, and it's been, what time is it right now? It is not even 24 hours later and I feel 100% fine, like I'm okay. So yesterday basically got home after the doctor's office, after laying there, just having like an anxiety attack for 15 minutes, but came home, went into bed, had a heating pad and just slept for a couple of hours, which I would recommend, I think I said this yesterday, have a friend drive you, have a heating pad waiting at home, have some light snacks that you can snack on and definitely eat a little bit before because that's a mistake that I did. I didn't really eat anything before, which I'm sure did not help with the lightheadedness, but eat something, drink some water, take some Advil. So I slept for a couple of hours when I woke up. It wasn't 
like as painful and really it did just feel like a really bad cramp like it was an unintended shooting pain you know once they're inserting it that pain goes away literally the minute that they stop inserting it and they take the speculum out it's totally gone right that's not like a long lasting pain for you so I woke up and I felt probably like 50% better like I felt way better I could get up and eat and drink some water and like just kind of do stuff like light stuff and then another maybe hour or two went by I ate a little bit I drank a little bit I was still like lounging around in bed felt about 70% and then maybe five hours after the actual insertion I felt totally fine like a little light cramping that went away though like I went to bed feeling 100% and I haven't had any cramping um, the bleeding I did wear a pad all yesterday all overnight wearing one today probably gonna switch to panty liners over the next couple days just because you are expected to spot for like up to a month to six months for some people I am currently not in any pain don't feel anything I did try to feel for the strings and you can definitely feel them day after at least for me um, and then what else I took a shower that was fine uh, bleeding is definitely light for me currently um, like I, I just feel I just feel normal or do I expect other side effects the only thing that I'm really hoping doesn't happen I am really really hoping that I don't break out because I know that that's a common side effect and when I get like one giant pimple on my face like it ruins my mood and I know that it's so stupid but like I just, I'm really concerned about it because I've had, I haven't dealt with acne in a long time and I'm really nervous about it because I know that that would be like a big hit to my self-esteem. So I know that it's a normal thing because your body and the hormone levels are changing and your ovaries are starting to like kick back into gear, but I just am really hoping that I don't break out a lot. Okay, so it's been about, oh, Jackson, hello, sir. <laughs> it's been about three weeks since I got my IUD in, so at this point, I'm ready to give you guys kind of my final intro update. If you want another video in a couple months when I've seen if I have any of the more long-term side effects or if it's inhibited anything or if it's affected anything positively or negatively, then let me know. Thumbs up this video and let's get into your questions. I asked on Instagram the day that I got this done what you guys wanted to know, so I'm just gonna go ahead and answer all of your questions there. Okay, do you notice it once it's in? Does it hurt when it goes in? Yeah, it definitely hurt when it went in, but noticing it when it's in as far as just day-to-day -day activities or during sex, I haven't, my partner hasn't said anything. I wouldn't assume that they did, and I would have thought that like, if he's gonna notice it, it's gonna be while the strings are still kind of apparent because I guess they like trim them and then they coil up so it's not as noticeable. Um, the second day that after it, I got it inserted, I was just kind of feeling around and I felt the strings, but it wasn't anything that has inhibited anything since then. There were a couple of people who were talking about how they got a copper IUD or a Nuva ring and they said that it, you know, increased their depression, it made their mental health worse. So that is something to keep in mind. Talk to your doctor and if this is something that you think is a risk factor for yourself, just make sure that you're keeping an eye on it make sure that your doctor is aware that it's a concern because this could be a great form of birth control for you but you also don't want to give up your mental health for this form of birth control when there are other options that also being said one person's experience isn't representative of everybody's I have noticed and I wouldn't necessarily attribute this to the IUD because I've been making more lifestyle changes I've started eating in the last month far cleaner than I was before I've been working out a few times a week I've been like going Going outside more often so my mental health and my anxiety level has gotten a lot better um, again wouldn't necessarily attribute that to the IUD and who knows maybe it is you know that's something that hopefully we'll be able to answer if you guys want an update video on the IUD in a couple months do you still have your period regularly after the insertion so like I said I got mine done about three weeks ago so my period if it does come is supposed to come next week um, I don't know. I will again update you guys on that and I think that this would be better 
for the longer term update because then I can let you know if it's regular every month. And that is really my only concern with the IUD is that I won't know when my period is coming because I'm not like stopping a pill and then I know it's gonna come two days after I stop the pill. So I've just started carrying around pads, tampons, panty liners in my purse constantly. Oh, did you get the hormonal or the copper one? I got the uh, Marina, which is one of the higher level hormone ones. I was nervous to do the copper one because I've heard a lot that it made people's periods worse, the cramping, and it made their flow heavier, and also my doctor recommended the Marina over everything else, so that is the one that I went with. Ooh, a pro-cons list, IUD compared to the pill. I don't have to take the pill, which is a huge pro, because to be honest, I was really irresponsible with it, which didn't matter so much to me when I wasn't in a relationship and I wasn't like consistently sexually active, but now that I am, I, I don't want to get pregnant. I don't want to have children. I like this is a total side note, but um, the only way that I want to have kids is to like foster or adopt. Like I have no plans at all ever to get pregnant. So I also want to be responsible in protecting against that. So just having the actual 98% protection once the IUD is inserted properly that was a huge pro for me not having to take the pill not having to worry quite so much about the risk of getting pregnant huge huge stuff right um the only con for me like i said is i don't really know when my period's going to come now if it's going to be regular if it's going to be irregular that's something that time will tell and again i will update you in an update video oh can you feel it during sex I haven't been able to feel it during masturbation, and my partner hasn't said anything about feeling it during sex either. A lot of people are talking about how they got an IUD and they absolutely love it, so I'm glad that you guys enjoy it too. And I will say, like, my friends got it, Bronwyn had it, Steph had it, and like, they love it. And Steph had a harder time with it. She wants to do a video on this on her channel as well. I'll link her down below. How much did it hurt when it was put in? My friend puked because it hurt so bad. Um, I would describe it as like really, really bad cramps. Like really bad cramps, kind of when you're immobile because it hurts too much and if you move then it, it's like a sharper pain. But again, it lasted, I think I said this in the like right after portion, the pain of the measuring of the cervix took 30 seconds and then the insertion took 45 seconds to a minute and my doctor was really good in keeping me updated on how long I had left in that you know the process was almost over in that you know the pressure is going to be gone you won't feel this level of pain and afterwards it was just cramping that heating pad and honestly just like sleeping it off really helped with one thing that I will say is I've had some friends who get this done and then they go back to work I would recommend personally if you can do this on a day where you have it off just like if you can take a day off just to recover do it on like a Friday so you have Friday to get it in and hurt and lay in bed and then Saturday Sunday to recover and then by Monday you should be like ready and rearing to go and that is it those are all of your guys's questions if you guys have anything else that you want to know in a follow-up video please leave them down below and in a couple months I will do a follow-up video um, and I again will leave Steph down below because she wants to do a video like this talking about her experience so just go and badger her and remind her to do that but if you guys enjoyed please give this video a thumbs up subscribe down below and make sure that you stay tuned on this channel because I have a couple of workout challenges I have a couple of finance videos coming up and then also we've got a project pan update coming at the end of the month thank you guys so much for watching I hope that you have a great Valentine's Day this weekend if you're doing something let me know what you're doing I love you so much and I will see you very soon bye guys